Throughout Black History Month, we're celebrating examples of African-American culture and excellence that are found throughout North Texas. One example is the Melissa Pierce Project. It's a local initiative seeking to transform a former school into a multi-purpose center that will honor the legacy of the community it serves. Joining us is the executive director of the Melissa Pierce Project, Shalandria Gallimore, and joining her is Dr. Austin Allen. He's a board member with the organization. Welcome to Texas today. So nice to meet you both. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So first of all, can you talk to us about this project, the Melissa Pierce Project? What is it? Melissa Pierce Project is a nonprofit organization that was actually founded for the purposes of building a multi-purpose center in the historic uh, community of Joppe. Habitat for Humanity donated land back to the community for those purposes, and so we just developed a separate nonprofit to be able to raise um, funds for that. Project. Who was Melissa Pierce? Melissa Pierce was a child of a former slave. She, yes, she actually lived in the community and she owned uh, lots of land there in the community. During segregation, the children of Joppy had to be bused all over um, Dallas. They didn't have a school close to them that they could actually attend. So Melissa Pierce, along with the founder of the South Central Civic League, Miss Laura Bell Foster, they petitioned the um, school board month after month to build a school in that community. And so finally, uh, the school board said yes, but that they would have to donate the land. Well, she had plenty of land to donate. And so she actually donated the land and they named the school after Miss Melissa Pierce. Very nice. So what makes this former school the perfect place for this community center? Uh, it's special for so many reasons. Uh, number one, uh, the memories and the history and the nostalgia of it all. A lot of the people, I'm actually fourth of five generations, and so my parents and their siblings actually attended the school as well. And we still have a lot of families that still live in the community. So their one request was that just save the gym, just save the gym, whatever you have to do, because that's where so many people um, were actually paying in the gym and all. So it serves us so many different um, purposes. Dr. Allen, can you share with us a little bit more about your involvement with the project? Yeah, I, I, I'm at the University of Texas at Arlington. There was a professor there who really brought it to a number of our attentions. Uh, Dr. Holliday, she um, is a historian and she saw the importance of us being involved with that building and once I got out there, once uh, also a, Dr. Jones Allen got out there. We were like, this is uh, such a rich cultural place yeah. that it needs that preservation, it needs that kind of attention. And we wanted the university and its students and its faculty to do what they could to help the community to make that a reality. So once everything is done, what are some of the programs that are going to be offered there? Oh, so many. That's why instead of a community center, we made it a multi-purpose center because it will serve multiple purposes from social services to senior services, a food cooperative because um, Joppy is in a food desert. And so uh, we have an indoor swimming pool for therapeutic purposes, swim lessons, health and wellness, just a lot. Yeah, <laughs> great programs. Yes. But of course, for a project this big, it needs funding. Yes. yes how much funding it's needed and how can we help? Well, the capital funding is uh, at 20 million. Right now it's a 10,000 square foot facility. Um, HKS Architects, where I, they were able to come on and they designed a state-of-the-art building for us and it's gonna turn into about 35,000 square wow. feet. Wow. Yeah, so mostly private funding, but the city of Dallas, everyone is just kind of pitching in and helping us out. And how we regular people can help. I think in the long run what we want to do is be able to set up those kinds of uh, fund me, you know, uh, uh, opportunities. We want to do events. Uh, we already do things around Juneteenth and other time periods that are great fundraisers and the opportunities online and other ways that people can uh, give any amount they can afford, you know, and uh, that's the idea that it belongs to the community, oh, nice. it belongs to people. Nice. Well, thank you both so much for joining us today. And that project is amazing. I saw pictures of it. It's going to look well, good. Exactly. Thank Great you. Great services. Thanks there. for having us. Of course. Thank you. <laughs>
To learn more about the Melissa Pierce Project or to make a donation, visit their website, melissapierceproject.org.